name is Kashanti Lampley and this is my dog Lily and today I will be teaching the standard health and grooming techniques as well as the basic skills your dog should be taught in order to maintain their safety as well as others. For brushing, you want to be able to have a brush like this that has tooth combs as well as a brushing side. And so with it, you want to be delicate and make sure that your dog doesn't get hurt. So you want to go softly, just break it through. And then if there's like a knot anywhere, just make sure you go through it softly. And then you can just switch to the other side as well. For matting, you wanna be able to have a brush that looks like this, that has metal combs and they have very thin teeth. And so for dematting, this kind of brush just is able to get out knots in your dog's fur. It's more intricate than a regular comb, so you wanna be more careful with it. And with this, you just wanna go softly over the dog's fur. And make sure to do it softly if there is a knot in order to get it out so that your dog is not hurt. Shampooing, I have this Hemp Shampoo and Conditioner, it's a two-in-one, and basically you wanna get a shampoo that is right for your dog, and I have a Shih Tzu, so I got this one from Nature Vet. And basically when shampooing, I'm just gonna demonstrate the way you're supposed to shampoo your dog. And so with this, you wanna be able to get some in your hand, and then have water with you as well, and then you have to get a good lather, and make sure that it's fully, completely over your dog, but the way that you want to do it is you want to stay away from your dog's eyes and ears on the inside to make sure that they don't get an infection in either one of them. And basically you just want to massage this in and you might want to do this like two times and you want to rinse to repeat and then lather again and then you rinse and then you dry your dog off. In the next clip, my mentor will be demonstrating the two techniques of cleaning ears and clipping nails. And I wanted to let a professional handle this in order to make sure that it was done correctly. Cleaner for dog. Um, it helps clean out the um, odor, dissolve earwax, and debris. So what you do, get a cotton ball, get a little bit, open their ears, find the ear canal. Yeah, let me see. I'll do it on this side. There it is right there. See, hair in the ears too, the groomer would take and get out of that hair out of the ears too. Mm -hmm. You put a little, you spray it in there. You don't stick it all the way in there. And you use this and you just, you don't stick nothing in the ear. And they do that. You just take it, you put it in there. A lot of people rubs it in there like that and work it. And then they take this and rub it on their ears. That's what you do. So with a quick two, they say, see with her fur, you're gonna very likely. So what you do is you can push on the tip of it right there and push it out a little bit more. Nope. So we wanna get it away from the fur. So, and the other one you do, this one has a little guide that you could put there, but that guide is not always right because some quick is shorter than that. So we're gonna do this white one right here. So you could tell it's, it's very distinct. Uh, see the quick right there, the brown right there? That's the quick, does that make sense? So this one, you just put in there like that. Right now I'll be teaching the basic commands. The first command I'll be teaching is sit. And with this, you wanna have a leash in your food. And so with sit, you wanna be able to bring your dog towards you. Come here, Lily. Come here. And you wanna lift the leash straight up and then pair it with the food once they get into that position. And then you wanna praise them with a comment such as good girl or good boy. And then after a while, when you are doing this command, you wanna pair the word sit with it so that they know that when you say sit, you want to do this command. The next command I'll be doing down, and with this, you want to have your leash and food again. And with this, you want to be able to bring your dog towards you. Come here, come here. 
and you want to make sure that you have your leash and you want to grab it near the collar part and you're going to bring your dog down towards the ground while leaning up with the food and you just want to pull down slightly onto it and then give them the food once they get all the way down you want their belly to touch the ground and then you praise them good girl and when you do this command you want to pair the word down with it in order for them to know that that word is connected to this command and when they do this command they are praised and also given food for this command, I'll be teaching the command come, and with this you want to be make sure that your dog comes towards you when you ask for them to. And so with this, all you want to do is grab your attention, and you want to say the word come, and once they come towards you, you praise them with a treat. This, I'm going to put the leash down. For this command, I will be teaching sit, but with duration this time, this is basically sit, stay, and make sure your dog doesn't move unless you give them the praise to. So with this, you're gonna be able to sit your leash down. First, you wanna put them in the sitting position. Lily, sit. Good girl. You wanna be able to put your leash down. And with this, to make sure that your dog sit, you wanna give them food. Good girl. And then you wanna back up with it. And then don't stay away, go straight back to your dog and give them food once again so that they know that you're coming back. And you wanna keep doing this by increasing your distance. And with this, you have taught your dog duration and making sure that they know you're coming back to them to praise them with the treat. The next command I will be teaching is down with duration, and this is putting the dog in a down position while also applying stay to it. With this, you want to put your dog in a down position first. Lily, down. Okay. And you want to do the exact same thing I said with sit stay, but this time in a down position. You want to increase your distance every time while also giving the dog food. The next command I will be teaching is healing, which is also walking without pulling on the leash. And with this, you want to have your dog and as well as treats to praise. So with this, come here, baby. You want to make, make sure your dog walks with you without pulling in front of you and also stays by your side. Come on, Come on. So you're gonna make sure you walk around. And you wanna do it in small circles before you get on the actual street. And if the dog does start going in front of you, you wanna go and make a sharp turn in the opposite direction so she knows that you are the leader and they are not. And when learning healing, it's easier to pair a command with it, such as, come on, blank, or you can just say, let's go. And the next clip, housebreaking will be taught, and this is a way to teach your dog how to do potty training and be able to come into your house without using the bathroom. And this is putting your dog on a schedule while using your crate and also being able to teach the commands I just taught in the previous videos. Okay, so potty training protocol. So the reason we teach potty training protocol is we want them to have free time. Free time is only done after they use the bathroom outside. And the, and the piece of paper shows that. So the reason we do free time is we want them to understand that their house and we want free time in the house. So during free time, it's 100% supervised. So what I got on the board here is a, a template of what time. Everybody's time is a little different. So what we do is we got a little time on here to show you. When they go outside, they get five minutes for outside, okay? So the reason we do five minutes outside is they need to go ahead and do the business. And 99% of the time, some people don't want to, but most of the time we do on the leash outside. And the reason we do on the leash is so you don't have to search for food. Now, have a treat in your pocket, a high value treat, okay? So when you go outside, have a high value treat. When your puppy does what it wants to do, you say, good girl, good boy, and you give them a treat. So what they do in this trigger in the head, we know what they do in trigger in their head is that every time I do this, I get a treat. 
just like you do with play, sit, and down. It's the same principle. Then you come inside and it's supervised free time. So I tell everybody, and I tell you, that free time is supervised means wherever you at, the dog has to be. It, got, it can't be somewhere in the house that needs to be with you, with a leash on. And the reason is, in case, let's say your baby Lily comes in and starts sniffing around, you can grab the leash, take them right back outside. So we start off with 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we put them back up. So since Lily is seven months old, she can hold it for, she can hold it for about eight hours. But we gotta work her up to that point. So she she's in a crate for three or four hours, then you take her back outside, okay? So we feed her in the crate also. At least one meal a day we feed in the crate. The reason we do that is she gets five minutes to eat in the crate. Eat, drink, and that's time. So you start the time. After, after five minutes, you start the time, she gets one hour. After one hour, take her back outside. If she used the bathroom, pees or poop, most dogs ain't gonna poop. If they pooped in the morning, they ain't gonna poop right after they eat. So if they don't and she pees, let her have free time. If she doesn't do anything, she goes back in the crate for 20 minutes. The reason she is, we've making her think the only time she gets free time is she used the bathroom. If you use the bathroom, you're not gonna use the bathroom in your house. Fair enough? So with her age, you could go. So let's say it's seven o'clock, she's back in the crate, and she comes out at 8.30, and then you don't have to do anything until about 12 o'clock. Let her chill out in the crate, okay? It's not a punishment, it's just teaching her how you need to calm yourself, it helps with the relax. So with that said, then let's say you want to train your dog. You train your dog, you put her up. You still got that same hour, okay? So. So the way we do it is, take your dog out, let's say you take her out at 12 o'clock, or you take her out at four o'clock, and she uses the bathroom, train her with your hand food. Train her for about five or 10 minutes, 15 minutes, then put her up. She does not eat after six o'clock. So at seven o'clock, you take her out, and you probably go to bed around 10, Seven o'clock, and then right before you go to bed, about 9.30. Now, free time, we say 30 minutes. Every time don't have to be 30 minutes. Just say something happens and you need to go in and get going. At least make it a couple of minutes and then put her up. She just needs to know she gets free time. From that point, um, she should be able to sleep through the night. She don't need no water in her crate. She don't need no food. She don't need to have access to the water because just like a baby, baby don't get a drink all day long. You, it don't need to drink all day long. So this is, so we do 15 minute increments. After 30 minutes, so after about three or four days, maybe a week, she's doing good and you feel confident that she's not gonna use the bathroom in your house, raise it to 45 minutes. Couple of days, she's doing good, raise it to an hour outside of her crate. And the reason we do that is, if you do 30 minutes to an hour and she uses the bathroom, within that, hour, you go, well, how far can she hold it? So then you got to go back to 30 minutes. So if you do 30, 45, hour, hour 30, stuff like that, then you have a time frame, okay, I can do it for this long, this long, okay? The last command I will be teaching is leave it, and this is basically putting a toy or a treat in front of your dog and not giving them permission to eat it unless you tell them. So with this, Leave it? No. Go get it. And that is all the commands I'm going to be teaching in this video. Thank you for watching.